Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to go over setting up a data table in Excel. A number of folks are struggling with that. When you do a data table, you can compare the impact of two variables on an outcome. But in order to do it, you've got to have a working model. Now, this is a simple model out of the text called the Hotel Overbooking Model. And we've got some variables up here in pink. And I'm going to look at just two of them, the price and the overbooking cost. And they are connected through this model down to the net revenue down here, 35, 6,000. And if you uh, click on that, you can see how things are connected. We've got rooms available overbooking and customers for part of it. And then the uh, income also is linked to that. So. The data table I want to do real quickly, it compares price. I'm just going to go simplistically from $10 increments from $100 to $150. You set that up. And then we've got the overbooking price from $50 to $75. And then the critical is at the intersection, you've got to have this link back to a cell in the model. Okay. So I'm going to click out of that. The next thing you need to do is to start with that critical cell and highlight the range, both horizontally and vertically, to include all of the values you want. We go to Data, and we go to What If Data Table, and brings up the dialog box. And it's real critical that you get these things aligned properly. This is the row. Think of it that way. I got price, so I'm going to click in the cell there. I'm going to go over here to the cell in my model that is connected and click on price. And then my column cell, overbooking, that's the column. I'm going to go over here and click on that cell. And then I'm going to click OK. And then we will get the uh, table populated if you've got calculation on automatic. Make sure that's that set there. And I've gone ahead and I've added some formatting and you can see we've got some color bars there to show that the net revenue goes up as logically the price goes up uh, and the amount of overbooking price goes up. So that's just simplistically the mechanics of getting that data table. You've got to have a working model. If you don't have a working model that relates your two variables to the outcome, the target, the goal, then data table won't work. They've got to be linked together so that a change here as it changes will be reflected here and as the overbooking is changed by the uh, data table it will be reflected here because it actively goes through and and does those those uh, calculations behind the scene so I hope this helps